Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Twelve and six, Hebrews twelve and six. Mm. The book of Hebrews, chapter twelve, verse six. Why are we getting shot down? That is the question. Why are we getting shot down? Why are we in the battle? Understand that? Read. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastens. So guess what? For whom the Lord loveth, he chastens. Just like some of y'all have kids, right? You love your kids, so if you see your kid going up, what you gonna do? You gonna hit this behind? This is that godly punishment, bro. Hey, brother, right there, you can put the church on with that phone right there. Who's recording this? Come, 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 come over here real quick. Give me five minutes of time real quick, bro. I see you, I see you over listening, bro. What's your name, bro? Huh? Come on. Come on. Alright. So, I got a question. What is your nationality, bro? You is it right, huh? How long have you been knowing that? Alright. Give me do the round of six. Give me uh do around me about ten and twelve, right? For a little minute, right? So you know you're Israel, like you know you're supposed to keep the Sabbath holy, right? You know about the fringes? You know about the fringes, right? Who you been learning under? Huh? The pop? Okay, do we wear fringes? Okay, so guess what, brother? You got to come and get taught. You know what I'm saying? That's why we out you. We've right. been on for quite a while. We've been out you for quite a while. So guess what? You got to get around brothers who want to help build you. Right. Understand that? Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? So, you know Israel, right? So guess what? It's a something is required for you, Jamal. Understand it? And everybody else, whether they know it or not. Right. You, you, you are special. The most I require from you. So guess what? That's your part of the in the book. You got to uphold that. Watch this. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God. Do you know how to love God? Huh? Walking this way? All right, no, no, keep reading, no, yeah, keep reading, we're going to explain it. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, verse 13, to keep the commandments. So that's how you love God and that's how you serve God, by keeping his commandments. Right. Understand that? Now, you know about the Sabbath day? Give me the Sabbath day. All right. What is today? No, no, not the date. What is today? Huh? You wanna know? How long, how long you say you, you been knowing? No, yeah, yeah, Israel. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay, okay. All right, I'm with you. Read that. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So, remember what I read Bruno in 26, right? It's a re something that's required, right? It's required for you, all of us, to remember the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So guess what? You got six days to labor, all right? From the beginning of the beginning of the calendar, right? That's the Sunday to Friday. That's your work period. Mm -hmm. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So on the seventh day is the Sabbath. So if you count seven days, that falls on what day? Huh? No, Sunday is the first day of the week. The Roman, the Roman Catholic Church, they changed the, they changed the, the, the calendar. You know what I'm saying? They changed the, the first day to the, the first day to, to the, um, they, they changed the, the, the Sabbath, basically, what I'm trying to say, all right? So the first, go to, look on your phone, go to your calendar, right? The first day of the week is Sunday. The last day is Saturday. Saturday is the Sabbath. Understand what I'm saying? Wait. And it, thou shalt not do any work. So guess what? Are you in, or are you in the way to work today? All praise. 
But guess what? There's no working on the Sabbath day. You see what I'm saying? Er everything should be shut down. You know what I'm saying? Everything. These bus systems, uh, library, holiday in, everything should be shut down. You right. understand? Read. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy master, nor thy master. So everybody in your household, no working on the Sabbath day. Right. God, most High gave us a mandatory off day. Now you sitting here arguing with your boss just to get a day off. Most I gave you a mandatory off day. Saturday. Give it near my 10th and 32. Alright? Near my 10th and 32. What else will she supposed to be doing on today? Alright? Today is a very special day, bro. What do you know about? It's not Sunday. See everybody go to church on Sunday? Nah, that's today. That's supposed to be on the Saturday. Saturday, alright? Where you got? The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the line. Bring where or any victuals? Where are any victuals? Where is going to clothing? All right, like you going to nail you, right? You see all the vendors and all that. They selling food. They selling clothes. They selling incense. They selling everything, right? That's what we're talking about, right? So they bring any where any victuals so to do what? On the Sabbath day to to do it on the Sabbath. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell to what? To sell. So to sell on the Sabbath, right? That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So you should not buy it of them on the Sabbath day. So on the Sabbath, there's no buying or selling. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had the bus, right? You had to pay, huh? You had the bus? So you, 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 you listen. Huh? Well, okay, well, no buying or selling. Like, nobody should ever, should, should not be buying a bus ticket to do nothing. You know what I'm no. no buying or selling. That's what I'm getting at, all right? Mm. Or on the holy day. So or on the holy day, because you got many different kind of holy days. Not just the Sabbath. You got the new moon. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got Passover. You got Pentecost. You got um uh tabernacles. You got dedication. They have None of them are supposed to buy itself. You understand what I'm saying? So, you need right, Yeah. You need uh number 1538, alright? Oh. Numbers 1538. Because I actually, you know. So you know what it was, right? You got to show you, all right? So because so after this, there should be no excuse, all right? We have God, right? All right. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out! Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So it's a commandment that the Most High made, told us to make fringes on the borders of our garments, all right? Huh? Yes. yes. You can show you. You can show it's a big of numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bear them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So, fringes at the borders of your garments. Every day. Not just on the Sabbath day. Every day. Watch this. You want to explain that. Throughout their generation. Throughout the generation. As you keep generating on this earth, fringes got to be on your shirts. Right. All right. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So upon the fringes, a border, a ribbon of blue. Understand that? The fringes in the border blue. Then they're going to explain to you why. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So it's for you to remember the commandments. Like, for instance, I gave the analogy earlier, right? You want a bus ticket, right? Uh, you want to walk behind, you want to go to get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Going, going along. Man, hold on. You going there. Oh. Ah. Say it's savage, man. I can't, can't do it. Instead of keeping you in check, you understand? Because we, we have our own different desires personally. But we got to get, just keep us in check. Right. You know so we have to do what we want to do. You understand what I'm saying? Now, remember I talked about the Sabbath day, right? Keeping holy, right? In the verses above it, a man was working on the Sabbath day. You understand? So this is when the fridge was instituted. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right. So I got a question for you. Are you single? You single? All right. Give me uh, Hebrews 14 and uh, yeah. Give me that. Single, right? So you have casual, you know. Are you man with a woman? I get you. you do you smoke? What cigarettes? Weed? All right. Let me show you. Read that real quick. Matter of fact, read 
read the uh, first Corinthians uh, 3 16 first, all right? But that's what he he, he missed that, all right? So we're going to show you, okay? Read that. It's the book of First Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So guess what? Your body is a temple of God. Temple is a dwelling place, right? So you have a house, right? Okay. For instance, you have a house, right? You dwell in your house, right? Your body's a temple. Watch this, read. And that the Spirit of God dwelling in you. So the Spirit of God dwelling in you just like you dwell in the house, right? Watch this, read. If any man defile the temple of God. So if you defile, defile your temple, you defile your body by putting stuff in there that don't belong there. You feel what I'm saying? Such as weed, tobacco, that don't belong to your system. That's why you get jacked up. You uh, put like 30 years down the line, you have lung cancer. Right. My dad's suffering that right now. He's been smoking all his life, now he got lung cancer now. You know what I'm saying? He's dealing with that. Showing us a breath. Read. If any man defiles the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So guess what? The most high is going to destroy you by bringing diseases upon you. That's you know what right. I'm saying? Here's what's about to defile your, uh, your house. What's about to just fertilize your house, put feces all on the wall. Did you want to do that? Who's about to do that to your house? But well, that's what we do to our bodies when we do that. Right. Understand what I'm saying? That's what we do. So guess what? You know that now. I'm not, now I'm not saying it's going to be some easy. That's not what I'm saying. Because I used to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to be around your brothers. So we can help you. Understand what I'm saying? That's why you got to be around. Check the flag out. All right? Don't go nowhere there. All right? Did he, didn't he have a question? Huh? Didn't he have a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this to ask you a question about did our forefathers write the Bible? Right. The Lord gave the word. Uh -huh. Great was the company of those that published. So the Lord gave the word. Remember, Moses, right? The Lord told Moses, do this, do that, do this. All right? So guess what? Moses put it in the writing. The first five books. That's the laws of Moses. He right. wrote the first five books. Understand? So yes, I'll go for this there, right? Give me Peter. Huh? No. Give me that in Peter, all right? So, once I gave the word to our forefathers and they published it. Watch this. Give me this, give me that Peter. It's the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Uh -huh. For the prophecy came not in old time uh -huh. by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So guess what? Holy men of God, all right? Holy men of God who spake as the what? It's the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time, by the will of man. So this Bible wasn't written by the will of man. We just didn't sit around like, okay, let me write this. They did not have to read. But holy men of God. But holy men of God. Not no ordinary Negro sitting around just smoking weed. Holy men of God, read. Spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. By, they spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. The Most High instructed them to do that. Understand? The white men write the book. We didn't write the book. But the Most High gave the prophets to write the book. For instance, you got, like I said, Moses, and you have Isaiah, you got Jeremiah, you got all these men that most I use to write the Bible. Understand that? All right, you have a question? Another question? You know, I'd be confused, but, um, you know, because history, um, is, there were no full effects that um, all the people existed in the Bible, so that's yeah, exactly. all right, all right. So say it again? In history, there's no proof of fact that, you know... There's Jesus. no proof of fact, right? Do you read this Bible? That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know if you wrote the Bible. Well, we just... Read that again. I'm talking about, you know, so how do we know it? How I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right? No, read that again, 2 Peter 1 and 20. Watch this. It's the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 21. For the prophecy came Stop. not... What is prophecy? What is prophecy? A prophecy is basically uh, telling what's going to happen in the future. I'll say 10 minutes. Let's go up right here. And Obama will jump out, right? That's a prophecy, if it came from God or not, right? If it don't happen, that means it's not a prophecy. Prophecy is, is something that the Most High told the Israelites, told the instruct his people to tell the people and then they come to pass. Right. Give me your, I mean your prophecy, right? Give me uh, 20, Deuteronomy 28, 16. Give me your prophecy, alright? It's a prophecy. Let me slow down. Let me give you your prophecy, alright? You tell me this happened or not, alright? Because this Bible was written 3,000 years ago, alright? 
Let's see what did it uh, prophesy about. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, the, the, if the Moses is telling the Israelites, you're going to go into slavery on slave ships. Did this happen 2,000 years ago? Were there any records of anybody going to slavery on slave ships? Where's the records? No. No. Some of slavery on slave ships. Guess what I'm showing you? In 1419, the first the so-called Hispanic, they went into slavery first. They were brought to, to uh, Europe. 1619, we went into slavery on slave ships. Guess what? We didn't get it. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, that's a prophecy that was written down way back when, but it happened to, in uh, 1619 and 1492. That's the prophecy. Let me give you another prophecy, right? Jump up to verse uh, 30, no, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, right? Bring it out. Watch this. Three. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. This is proof that the white man, nobody wrote the, no white man wrote the Bible. You know what I'm saying? The Mosai is going to write the Bible. Watch this. Prophecy. Read. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. So, it says, thou shall serve thine enemies. Slave ships. Slave ships. Sugar cane fields. Tobacco fields. This happens to our people. Read. Where's the law? Shall sin against thee. Guess what? The Mosai sinned those nations against us for us to serve them. Right. Read. And hold up. So, you want food? Who you go to? Huh? Who on it? Read. And if thirst, you want water? Who you go to? Read. And in naked, who you go to? Read. And in want of all the things, you want anything? What do you go to? Go to them. Other nations. I just got the other nations. Read. And he shall stop. Go back to 2 Peter 1 and 20. So you can understand. You know what I'm saying? Read. 2 Peter 1 and 20. So we're in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time. All that stuff that we just read. Read. By the will of man. It didn't just happen by the will of man. Nobody sat down and took the practical Bible. Oh, let's go this in there. Let's put that in there. No. Read. But Holy men of God, separate holy men of God, read, spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. By whom? The Most High instructed them to do that. You understand? Know he was instructed. You understand? Do they ask you a question or what? Oh, we have another question. Huh? Alright, so, where's your nationality? Alright, bless you, we're free. Must you keep a Sabbath day home? Alright? Must you smoke cigarettes? You uh, grown huh? Alright. Well guess what? Get that. Get it. Alright, we about to read something to you, alright? Who's the right Bible set? I want you to listen and take heed to what the script is saying, alright? Because it's not a game. At the end of the day, it's not a game. Right. Read. It's the book of Cleese Aspicus. Chapter 5 and verse 7. Bring it out. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. It said, don't make no tarrying. Don't just play around with it to trust the Lord. Read. And put not all from day to day. And I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to do it next year. Don't do that. Read. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. That destruction is going to come forth. Read. And then thy security. When you feel safe, when you feel like you unstoppable. Read. Thou shalt be destroyed. So guess what? You say you would do me feel like it? Alright. But look, the most I is telling you what to do. You know what I'm saying? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. 
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.